Yo, 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 what's up everybody? Hello. It's been two months, we're finally out of the house. Yeah, we are at level two in New Zealand now. We had three days of consecutive zero cases, zero deaths, which is fantastic. Yes, well done New Zealand. Yay, but... Look at all this craziness, <laughs> I'm about to get a cut. It's been over two months since I've had a haircut. I'm really excited. I haven't been like outdoors like this for over two months now, yeah, so... Yeah, that's right. We are here at Sky City. We've just parked thanks to mom's uh, car park. All right, let's go. Out with mum this morning she's gonna get a haircut too we're currently walking down this is victoria street we're gonna pass one of my old work offices really soon and you, that used to be where you work this was our temporary office for a little while yeah, yeah. and funnily enough i used to work over yeah and, and, and that was my first job or first proper job so since we're walking around the city, thought we'd show you where we used to live. This is the Metropolis building and the hairdresser that we're going to, Urban Hair Studio, is my stylist and he's directly opposite the building so it used to be really easy for us to get a haircut. Over two months, I've had some subtle hints from friends that um, I need a haircut. So Definitely need a haircut. This is for all you guys. <laughs> okay. uh, Andy was saying that um, hairdressers is pretty busy even now, right? Everywhere. Not only me, like every hair salon in Auckland. Yeah. I should pay get the mama. The queue, did you see that? Nah. Like some people, they were waiting from like midnight. Midnight? Yeah. To get their hair cut? Yeah. That's crazy. I was so surprised. I saw the news and like, oh. wow. Oh so a lot of businesses have been affected by the virus kind of negatively. So it's good to hear that hair salons get yeah. more business. Look who I found sitting over here. Yes, I've oh, just finished my cut. Look at that. It looks freaking amazing. Look it feels face. so much better to have this cut. Thank you so much, Andy. You're the man. I feel 10 times better already. Yen's gonna be happy as yes, well. She kept complaining about my uh, long ass hair. I was thinking about leaving a mullet actually, but you know. No, no mullet. <laughs> Yen was threatening to um, shave my head in the middle of the night, so I had to, <laughs> I had to go with the normal classic look. Do you want a drink? Yeah, I get a drink yeah. too. Thank you, Cafe. <laughs> oh, Mum's just got her haircut. Mum, what do you reckon? How's the back? Very good. <laughs> wow, looks good, huh? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> it's always good when you used to live right outside the local magic store. So when there were pre-releases and things like that, you can just get on in. I don't think Amol's working today, but Amol's my guy that I normally um, hang out with and chat to. So shout out to Amol. I've been coming to this store for a long time. I had a lot of hobbies. Magic the Gathering, probably the biggest one, but for a little while I played X-Wing as well. And uh, there's James over there, stocking some shells. Hello. James, bro, how's, uh, how's business been during the whole lockdown period? Yeah, it's been um, it's a bit of a slowdown, but um, we're definitely coping. We're pushing a lot more on our e-commerce and it's been going good. Oh yeah, so has online sales been pretty, pretty yeah. good? Yeah, it's been um, definitely we've seen a lot of traffic, a lot of people not wanting to come in just to like, um, it was handling of the yeah. product, and yeah, 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 totally. but we're doing our best to keep our proportions and getting our parcels out the door. Have board games been selling like crazy? Or? Definitely, yeah. We've heaps titles, all the popular ones like Ticket to Ride, Catan. Yeah, the, yeah. Catan. Catan. Highly we recommend that, that game. <laughs> Staple. See, see. Thanks for talking to us. Man. <laughs> Lawn Street now, we're going over to our favorite Thai restaurant called Chomna. <laughs> They've been around for so long, like we've been going to them since we were in our uni days. And yeah, amazing Thai food, can't wait to go eat there for lunch. This is pretty much the first uh, outdoors restaurant that we've eaten at. It is the first one, first one since um, lockdown. Lockdown, yeah. <laughs> Hello! Hi! <laughs> uh, it's your first time here at the Chomna. Check out the fridge section because the dessert section changes all the time. Sometimes you can get the custard, sometimes you get these green things which Yen likes. And uh, they got the red beans as well. But today we're going with the custard. So they've heated it up for us. Mm. Wow. That's super good. Look at that amazing Tom Yum soup. I wish you could smell it. It's all spicy and sour and salty. I'm sure it's gonna be just how I like it. It's my favorite dish here at Chongna. I get it every single time. Ah, that's like 
the taste of amazingness. I really, really love this dish. Still one of your favorite tom yums after all these years, huh? Yes, even going to Thailand and being back here, still one of my favorites. I always get the oxtail soup here. I've had every single thing on the menu. This is the thing that I miss the most whenever I travel because I've never seen a place that does this before. The level of happiness right now. I'm in the same place yet is. The balance of the salty, the spicy, and then the meatiness of the oxtail, which is blended right into that soup as well. Oh man, that's a delicious, hearty flavor. Now they don't always have this, but when they do, have to get them. It's the kumra bowl. It's like a deep fried kumra, which is <laughs> super yum. Mm. As you can see here, we do social distancing, so they spaced all the tables and everything aside. That was such a good, satisfying meal. You know, we've got to support however we can our local small businesses because it's been really difficult times and challenging throughout this whole pandemic thing, of course. Just walking down Queen Street, it's way quieter around here. Like, this is meant to be one of the busiest streets in Auckland, and quite a few of the stores are actually closed down, like this one right next to me, Burger King, which has gone into receivership, which is pretty sad. Quite a few of the retail stores are also closed down, but so far a lot of the local ones are still open, which is a good sign. I've been noticing walking around in city and all the shops and stuff, most of them have sanitizer, which is awesome. And a lot of them you actually need to sign in so that they can do contact tracing in case it's needed. And definitely has all that social distancing of about like two meters apart with queues and that kind of thing. So it's all good to see here. <laughs> We're in the Bredemart area now and we're here on a Friday afternoon and it is normally a very, very packed place. Like you'd normally Especially that green there, area. Yeah, like sitting on bean bags and that sort of thing usually. But it is very, very empty because this is like the central as city part with all the office buildings and things around. You've got the big EY and Westpac and all that is here. But yeah. Not that many people. And behind me over there is one Emily place. I'm pointing it out because it's very significant to Yen and I because our first ever place that we ever bought was in there. And for all you OG members who might remember Auckland like back in the day, like back back in the day, where we're standing right now, like either just over there or just over here was Oriental Market. Only the OG will remember Oriental Market though. So that was an awesome place when we were kids. Uh, hello, welcome to Shakes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is actually my mate's store, Leon. He didn't want to be on camera, but this is a dope as New Zealand store. Leon always gets like a whole bunch of like really famous brands, like Eden, for example. And he's like the only store in New Zealand that actually has this kind of stuff. He was the first person to do carrots in Chinatown Market before it blew up, even. He's so nice. Left us the whole show yes. so he could... Leon, my man, doesn't want to be on camera, but uh, left you know, he's left us the whole store. <laughs> so, we can show you guys whatever you like, whether it's a jacket that Kanye has worn. Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> so, if you're on High Street, definitely check out Shakes. We'll leave all the details down in the description below. Something I cannot wait for is my bubble tea. I have not had it in months here, even when we came back to New Zealand last December. The shop wasn't open and each time I came it wasn't open. But today, I think it is and I can finally have my bubble tea. Yes it is! Reunited at last. <laughs> I love the bubbles here. They're um, like chewy and yummy and ah, oh, so good. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Mm. That's so good. I get half sugar and half ice and a whole lot of deliciousness. <laughs> you have had enough bubble tea for a <laughs> lifetime. <laughs> Might have had a little while we were overseas. We're just going to the local camera store shop on Queen Street here. We yeah. bought a new camera! <laughs> we did! I'm mean, super pumped for this. We're almost at the photo warehouse it's now. Here right now, we just got a phone call that it arrived, so... Yeah, yeah. let's go! <laughs> just gonna pay for the camera first, and it's sitting right over there. I haven't even looked inside it, so we're gonna do the unboxing after this. They had all of this up from Dunedin for us. We're gonna be doing a whole bunch of traveling around New Zealand in the meantime. And so having 4K and a sweet little package like this Ooh. is gonna do us some good. We chose the silver body because you know Fuji Film are like kind of famous for their retro. Still got the flippy screen, so yeah. 
All right, I'm super excited to be using this. Probably in the next couple of videos, you're gonna see a whole bunch of footage with this. And I got a shout out Keith for helping us set up this area right in front of the Fuji stand <laughs> to be able to do this. Thanks, man. And that wraps up our day here in the city. Yeah, it was heaps of fun, lots of shopping. And it's good to get outdoors finally. <laughs> yes. It's been pretty productive as well. We managed to get the camera, got a ching of bubble tea. Yep, Peter got his hair cut. Ate at one of our favorite restaurants, Chomna, as well. So that was pretty cool. Successful day, I would say. Yeah, and we're back at Sky City heading towards our car. Yeah. And so if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button. Drop us a comment. Love hearing from you guys. And we will catch you next time. See ya. Bye.